Just like the flood of Noah, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot serve as an example of God's hatred of sin, his justice concerning those who sin, the power of God to destroy, and the mercy that he shows to those who are righteous in his eyes. In this age of grace that we live under today, we rarely give thought that God will serve justice to this wicked world by destroying it. However, the day of the Lord will come, and with it judgment. God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? God promises destruction for this sinful world, and it will happen. God promises judge, judgment and justice regarding sin. In 2 Peter, it says, But the day of the Lord will come unexpectedly as a thief. Then the heavens will pass away with a terrible noise, and the very elements themselves will disappear in fire, and the earth and everything on it will be found to deserve judgment. Since everything around us is going to be destroyed like this, what holy and godly lives you should live looking forward to the day of God and hurrying it along. On that day, he will set the heavens on fire and the elements will melt away in the flames. But we are looking forward to the new heavens and the new earth as he promised, a world filled with God's righteousness. But Noah and Lot were warned of the impending judgment of God and to prepare or in their flee from God's wrath. And just like Noah and Lot, we are warned that God's judgment is coming, just as I read in the verse before. So how should we respond to this knowledge from God? According to the Bible, we are to be ready. We must ask ourselves, am I prepared for this coming destruction? Further, people we know, people we love, may be doomed to certain destruction if they are not rescued. How can we help them? Well, here are some suggestions for readiness. Stay vigilant. The end could come at any time. As Jesus pointed out, keep watch because you do not know on what day our Lord will come. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would have let his house not be broken into. So you also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. The second suggestion for Readiness is to live righteously. And as I had read in 2 Peter, since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives. We're to live righteously and obey God. Another suggestion for being ready is to share the gospel with those who are lost. Jesus said to them in Mark 16, 15, he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Another suggestion for readiness is to encourage one another as believers. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will call, come, out, come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing that's paul's encouragement to the thessalonians another suggestion for readiness is to persevere as it writer of hebrews sets out let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm for god can be trusted to keep his promise let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. Let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. God has promised the end will come, and we don't know exactly when that God will keep this promise to bring destruction. The story of Sodom and Gomorrah is a foreshadow of what is to come. Knowing this certainty, have you or will you take the hand of Jesus and follow him to life everlasting? I hope you already have or will do so today. As Isaiah wrote, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand 
just as the angels took hold of Lot's hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Jesus said, very truly I tell you, he who hears my words and believes him who sent me will have eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. What a promise from God if we just reach out and take his hand and follow him. Please take that advice. Follow Jesus.